In this video, I'm going to <clears throat> explain how to create your charts in Excel. So we're going to be plotting temperature versus volume in this chart. So you recorded your temperature for 100 through 700, hopefully, and we're going to plot that in Excel. So if you go back to your data, you can copy your data from your... I've just recorded the data in my office software and choose copy or control C and go over to Excel and just click on one of the cells and choose control V. So you can see that I've copied my data there. Okay. All right. And then what I'm going to do next is highlight the data. So click and drag until your data is highlighted. Now I'm using LibreOffice. This is my home computer. I don't have Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office here. So LibreOffice is a free program you can download, okay, if you don't have Microsoft Office. But you should have something similar in Microsoft Office. I'm sure it's very similar. I've used it before. So click on this chart icon up here on the top, okay, and you'll see that we get this chart, okay, this chart um, pop-up. And we don't want a bar chart like that or a column chart. We want a scatter chart, okay, or a line chart. Um, either one of these will work. Let's choose scatter, okay, and we want a line on it, right, okay, and next, hmm, so let's see, uh, chart elements and title, uh, we could put a title in, so let's put a title as temperature, uh, we could just put lab one, lab one, and then we can put, make it look nice, temperature versus volume, okay, and then on the x-axis is going to be temperature, and some, you can choose this automatically, um, I don't see how to do that on here, but if you right click you can choose these automatically, all right, and then the y-axis is volume, and you can write in um, centimeter cubed or degrees C if you want to do that. All right, and so now we have our chart, okay? And uh, you can right click. Hmm. So if you want to save this chart, uh, what you can do, probably the easiest way to do this, if you have Windows, choose Snip. Just type in Snip and go Snipping Tool. And then what you can do is you can click New and then you can snip and then you can save that as a JPEG or PNG. Okay, so just save it and then you can upload your chart. Okay, so save as, uh, you know, lab one chart, PNG is fine. Just don't use an HEIC file because I can't read that, okay? So you are going to need to do this on a computer. Um, if you don't have a computer, you can use one in the computer lab or come to my office and I'll give you some suggestions. So that's how you make a chart. Simply how you make a simple chart um, in Excel and, how, and then you can upload that to your Canvas quiz. So where are we going to upload that? Um, if you go over to your quiz, you'll see. So you're going to put your temperature and volume in here. You're going to answer all these questions. And then down here, you're going to upload your graph. So you're going to choose your file and upload it here. So that's how you're going to make a chart in Excel.